Well, it's Foodie Friday here on Great Day Connecticut. All <laughs> really we do, is. Nicole, is eat. That's true. So now when we get home, all we have to do is cardio. Exactly. Um, our friend the Nacho King, Alex P. Taylor, is here today with an original recipe for his Key West nachos. And that was inspired by your latest trip. Yeah, so I actually won tickets on Instagram to the Key Lime Festival. Wow. How wonderful is that? And they flew me down. Well, they actually they did an express boat down from Fort Myers to Key West, oh which was gosh. amazing. The Key West Express. And then from there, I got to try about 20 different flavors of key lime pie. That is incredible. Right? So now, did you spend time wow. on Key West? I sure did. Did you go yes. to Hemingway's house with all the cats? I saw I did that in one of the previous trips. Oh, but my God. It's so I fun. I mean, it was really the Butterfly Museum's oh, there as well. that's right. There's so many fun things about Key West, and, you know, I love it. So shout out to everybody in Key West. That's all right. great. Yeah, exactly. So did so, you eat your fair share of pie when you were there? Can I say, that was my favorite dessert. It probably will be again at some point, but 20 slices later, <laughs> yeah, we're on a break. <laughs> we're on a bit of a break. Yeah, and now uh, we're moving back to nachos. Yeah, we're moving back to nachos. <laughs> so this is a super fun summertime nacho, mm. I feel like. And we're going to use some fresh, um, we actually have some fresh plantain chips over there <laughs> that Scott, we're going to have you try to peel a little bit of this plantain. You'll feel it like when you're so this is a crunch. I mean, it looks bit. like a banana, but it's very different from it is. A it's a lot harder, and obviously, you need to do this when it's green. Okay. Uh, so do not try to do this with a ripe plantain because you will not be able to slice it in a mandolin. Mm. And do people eat plantains like they do bananas? I don't know. You know. Well, they you typically they'll fry them. Oh, so I mean, <laughs> you did it. I'm like you a pro. It. I'm a pro. Exactly. So now here, I did this one for you already. What you're going to do is try to do slices going down. Down this okay. Way, but this give is a little pressure. This is sharp, so be careful. Can what is sure? this? This is called a mandolin. And that's called the mandolin. Right. So you're going to be making some nice slices. And look, Ooh, you just did one job. right underneath there, but be careful Not to bad. touch that because yeah. I don't you did. see yeah. it. Okay. Oh dear. Oh, uh, careful. Here, don't. Here, so oh, I see it. it. Yeah. Okay. So then go back up. And oh, just look keep, at that. Yeah, see, Good there job, you go. Scott. So now, if you don't have time to do this piece at home, okay. I did actually find some plantain chips I've been at Target. Them. So mm. this is something you can pick okay. up. We always try to find the small hacks as well. <laughs> oh my God, see, you're perfect. Wow. Exactly, right? Pretty cool, right? That's so really cool. When we're putting these in the air fryer, we're just going to put them in half and we're going to coat them in some avocado oil and some Key West seasoning, which okay. I did pick up in Key West. So, so what's in the fun. Key West seasoning? I'm it thinking. has a little bit of lime. Key lime flavoring to it okay. um, but it has all sorts of spices and Onion powder. they make that right in Key West mm. so uh, something to check out the Key West Spice Company right look I have earrings yeah oh my god this is so fun look at so many uses for plantains <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now, Nicole, let's work on assembling this nacho. Okay, I'm ready. So we're going to add some plantain chips okay. onto this, just a little bit, because we're doing it for texture. Kind of like sprinkle them a in a little sprinkle, bit. Sprinkle, just yeah. to give it a different flavor. Did you make these, Alex, I over did, here? yeah, so I just did this uh, right before we came on. So you did these Check in an air out. fryer. Should we add some OG minutes. in here? A, a little bit. Yeah. Some OG chips. How wonderful that yeah. is. Yeah, we can add a few All of right, those. All right, there we go. Scott, there, can Scott I have a few OG chips over there? Yeah, we're just going to add a couple Look at, If he doesn't Here. eat all of them. Boom, boom. And Here now in Key West, I actually mm. have a favorite place I go for nachos. It's called El Maison de Pepe, I uh, which what? is super delicious. They have a Cuban nacho that does the same exact plantains, except a different style recipe. I didn't even know that there could be different like types oh, yeah. of nachos, like culturally like that. So much fun. Mm. So listen, let's add some Swiss cheese, and okay. then we'll add some cheddar. And we're doing Swiss. Swiss. Cheese and nachos. Yeah, Swiss because Never heard of this that. This is actually a mixture. It's a hybrid, a nacho fusion of a Cuban sandwich meets a nacho. Ooh. So you'll know with the Cuban sandwich, you have your ham, your pork, your Swiss, your mustard. I am not adding any mayonnaise today <laughs> Thank because God. I know how you feel about mayonnaise. You could have put that some on my half. Yes. That makes me smile. Yes, with a plantain <laughs> smile. Do you love that? Perfect. All right. So before we get in trouble for time, let's hear. We're going to put some pork on here, too. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of this because through the magic of television. Oh, yeah. You the know, instant we also magic have oven. One there's an easy bake oven and then there's a magic TV yeah. oven. You know there's what I mean? There's a magic TV oven, which you okay. can't beat. So this is a pork tenderloin, which I just baked in the oven, uh, 400 degrees, 25 or 30 minutes or okay. so, with a little of that Key West seasoning dry rub. We're going to do this. My hands are clean, so yeah. we're going to do this. Why don't you add some onion while I'm doing the sure. ham? Okay. Are you a ham, Alex? I'm a ham, but also not a boar's head ham. So, uh, <laughs> this is stop and shop, so we are safe from any kind of issues. 
Uh, so we have this. Okay. And then once we add the rest of those, we're going to top it off with just a little more cheese. A little more? And what? this is called measuring with love. Why not do more cheese? I thought this was called notch-rageous. This is totally notch-rageous. <laughs> and we are measuring with our hearts. Oh, I love that. Of instead of our, okay, so. As long as we're not measuring with our television. belly, that's all. Alakazam, Alakazoo, through the magic of television, we love you. And we have a Key West nacho, <laughs> which we're gonna close Look the oven. Look at that, that, that is Look beautiful. At this. That is I'm nacho put this right in the pot yeah, holder absolutely. so we do not burn anybody. So now with this as well, wow. we have our sour cream companion. So this is sour cream. I like to jazz up the sour cream a little yes. bit. So we added some chopped pickle. Chopped and pickle, also, how interesting. Yeah, you can add a little ranch seasoning to it as well. Okay. So that's a garnish, but we're gonna add some pico to this. Okay, do I and just Scott, spread it on here? you wanna add some chopped pickle to this? Because this is, again, Chop. a hybrid of a Cuban sandwich meets a nacho. Chopped pickle to this right here? Chopped pickle, yeah. yeah. Doesn't this, this look good? This smells amazing. Like, yeah, okay, we're doing it. All look right. at this. Oh Beautiful. my god, you gotta get a close-up of this because it's just This is about a 10 really inches deep right now. Nacho. <laughs> this really is huge. Isn't and I it? always have my special spatula here. So you have a Look plate at there. That. Stop. I like to do Is just that a nacho of, spatula? It's not. It's actually <laughs> a smash burger spatula. Oh. Which helps with portioning for me with nachos. So if you, Scott, want to grab one of those plates, we will. There's a little A plate oh, right there. Really? Oh yeah. my gosh, look at that. So this is an easy way to serve your nachos yeah, so with that. That's so clever, Alex. Almost like here, we're gonna do this one for you then too. Thank we're gonna you. grab one plate here, one more for In the Nicole. monogrammed plates, I you love know, it. I like, cause I love you know there's it. always. Now uh, the last piece is of course we're adding the dollop mm. of that sour, do you like sour cream? Sour? Uh, yeah, I do. Can I do that for yeah, you? Yeah, I'm not gonna eat any because I had the hot dog outside. It has a lot of okay. mayo in it. No mayo, no mayo. I'm just no kidding. Mayo. I'm, I'm, I, we I'm made teasing sure. him, I'm teasing him. We got 30 him. seconds left, so I just wanna say, this recipe is available at alexbtaylor.com. Please definitely uh, head over to Instagram, I'm alexbtaylor1. So cool. uh, you'll be able to see all the fun adventures I go on and future recipes coming up as well. Oh my gosh, all right. Alex. Thank you so much, Alex. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. Great Hello. To see I'm you. sorry, I can't hear you. This oh is a plantain. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> see you Monday. Happy Friday. <laughs> Woohoo, Friday. Yes. Time to eat nachos. Thank God.